Welcome back to Kevin Talks Movies, and I appreciate you stopping by. This is kind of the reboot of Kevin Talks Movies. It kind of died off for a little while there, but we're back. Um, we may not be a podcast anymore. I'm not sure how to upload the um, audio to the podcast land, but um, I'm definitely going to have it on YouTube, and I'm hoping to have it as a podcast again, but also on YouTube as a video podcast because that seems to be the thing to do now. Um, which, you know, I'm fine with because I like making videos anyway. And um, anyways, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back if you used to listen to the podcast. And um, I hope to have some good episodes for you in the future. It is 2022. We're ready to podcast again. And um, today we're going to be talking about the Italian job. So this movie I have not seen since I was a kid. Uh, I used to love it as a kid. All I remember is that it has Marky Mark and that um, it has a bunch of Mini Coopers doing awesome Mini Cooper stuff. It's probably the movie to watch if you're a Mini Cooper lover, which is exactly why I'm forcing Vicky T to watch it with me. Um, she's never seen it. I've only seen it as a kid, so I barely remember it. And I can't wait to talk about it after I've seen the movie again. No, seriously, come on, do it. Do it. But that's really all I remember from it. Um, on this podcast, we're going to be doing a little thing now about IMDb ratings. So I'm going to be guessing the IMDb rating. And then I think after I watch the movie, I'm going to come back with the actual IMDb rating and with my rating. My rating for this movie, having only seen it as a child, I'm going to give it a strong 7.5. And on IMDb, I'm guessing it's a 6.2. So we'll see how good my guesses are. We'll see if they hold up. We'll see if I have the same opinion after the movie. Um, can't wait to watch it. I'll be back after I watch it. But for you, it'll be instantaneous. I like the sound of that. All right, so I just watched The Italian Job. And um, when I... Before I had watched this just now, um, last time I had watched it was when I was like maybe seven years old <laughs> and uh, probably whenever it came out. I'm not sure when it came out. I still haven't Googled it yet. Um, I don't know where my phone is. Hang on. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! All right. So as I was saying, last time I watched it, like seven years old, probably whenever it came out. I haven't Googled it yet, but I did get a phone so that I can Google it. But I'm waiting to Google it until... Actually, you know what? I could probably ask Alexa. Alexa, when did the Italian job come out? The Italian job was released on September 3rd, 1969. 1969. This must be a remake or something like that. Um, Bruh. Alexa, when did the Italian job with Mark Wahlberg come out? Two thousand three. So yeah, I probably watched it right when it came out. That would make me uh, eight years old. Wait, two thousand three. Yeah, that would make me eight years old, unless uh, you know, depending on my birthday. So uh, okay, so I probably watched it right when it came out, and uh, I just remembered it as the Mini Cooper the movie, and I, that's not entirely false. Uh, this movie had. Definitely a lot of Mini Coopers. If you liked Mini Coopers, I don't see why you would not like this movie. And um, uh, nah, it, it, well, it was a heist movie, and they're mainly going after a bunch of gold. And this movie actually had a bunch of more famous people than I thought. I thought it only had Mark Wahlberg. No, it has Jason Statham. It has uh, Most Def. It has Seth Green. It has Charlize Theron. It has... Um, Oscar from The Office randomly. No, God, please, no, no, no. It has Edward Norton. It has a guy from 30 Rock. I'm not sure if 30 Rock even came out yet. Um, I'll refrain from asking Alexa about that. But the reason I didn't want to Google the Italian job was because of the IMDb thing. And I got to say, I'm going to... Under the lens that this is a heist movie, um, I'm going to give it an eight after watching it again. And um, But as a movie overall, I think it's probably 
still a 7.5. And IMDb, I think, probably has it as a 6.5. I'm going to boost that a little bit. Um, let's Google it to find out. So IMDb has this movie as a 7 out of 10. So I guess it was right in the middle of what I thought it was and what my rating of it was. Damn, I'm good! And um, it did come out in 2003. It's an hour, 51 minutes. It is PG-13, and there was a point in the movie where I knew it was PG-13 because a guy said, like, mother freaking, and it was, like, really unnatural. And I was like, this movie must be PG-13 because in a PG-13 movie, you're allowed one F-bomb. And it hadn't happened yet, but I knew it was coming. And uh, Edward Norton was the guy who actually got to drop the F-bomb. He was like, where the f is my truck? <laughs> um, it rhymed, so I thought it was worth it. And um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the Italian mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Edward Norton, he uh, did a good job playing the antagonist. He was basically against the mob that was Charlize Theron, Mark Wahlberg, Jason Statham. And it gave me major Fast and Furious vibes at times. And at times, oh yeah, when Seth Green hacked, spoiler alert, he hacked um, the traffic system and put a big thing up on the board. Um, saying, like, you've got God or something like that. Um, it gave me major Mr. Robot vibes, so I thought that was pretty cool. And, um, it, you know, it was just a very hacker movie, like a hacker I'm in sort of movie, but it's 2003, so there's that. And that was probably cool at the time. It was probably still cool to some people. Um, I'm not that into heist movies or gangster movies. So... There's that. If you enjoyed this video, I will see you in the next one. I will definitely be talking about more movies all the time. New movies, hopefully, probably. And hopefully I'll have some new games or some new ideas. But I just kind of wanted to get this first episode out there as fast as possible. So thanks for sticking around. This is Kevin Talks Movies, now a YouTube show, potentially podcast going forward once again. Um... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post. This channel is my main channel, so it has all my videos I've basically ever done um, for the most part. A lot of them are hidden, though, because they're old and cringy. But I'm revitalizing this channel. I figured this is the main place people can find me, and I figured that was the most simple way to go forward in my video making so i appreciate you stopping by thanks i'll see you